Hello everybody and welcome to the uh, eighth video, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the eighth video of this coronacation and the topic that I'm going to be discussing now is kind of a transition from the place of value topic. And uh, the video that I'm going to make next after this is kind of another transition from that as well. And uh, the, this video and the next video are kind of similar. So the next video is actually going to be fairly, very short. This one's going to be uh, also that short because it's a transition and it's a pretty simple topic. But it's just a reminder so I don't forget later on. Uh, worksheet number six has a lot of options, count by fives, count by hundreds, count by tens. But if you're just watching this video, if you haven't watched the next video that I'll make, just do the count by tens option because that is what we're doing today. We are gonna do skip counting by tens. So let's get to it. Let me make a new slide here. So as we said, let's take the number seven eight five we discussed place values beforehand we said this one was the ones this one was the tens and this one was the hundreds now i know you all can count by one specifically, like one, two, three, four, five, blah, 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 up to like 100 per se, like 99, 98, you know all of that. But do you know how to count by tens? In order to do that, it's actually very important for you to know your single digits or to count by ones, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Because it's actually really important for you to understand how to count by ones, just from one to nine even, or even greater than that. Just know how to count by ones, like 21, 22, 23, all the way like 28, 29. Then you go to 30, 31, 32. You guys already assessed that already if you're in grades second or maybe first or third as well. Grades 1 to 3, you guys already cleared that. You understand how to count from 1 to 100, and that's all you need for this lesson. And if you don't, email me, and I will be glad to make an actual lesson that goes on to count from 1 to 100. But in case you already know that, 1 to 9, you're getting bigger, as we said, with the greater than video, less than video. You're getting bigger. And it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You know the trend. So when we count by 10s, as I said before, the tens look like a digit and a zero next to it, correct? Because in the tens, per se it was 71, there's one number next to it, so it has to be one zero, as we discussed. So don't even look at the zero, just look at the number in front of it. What number would we go next to if we were counting? Just by single digits, we would go from seven to what? Exactly, eight. And the magic thing is, when you count by tens, you only change the tens place value. So then the zero gets carried on and it stays the same. For example, if I had 480, for instance, and I wanted to go to figure out my new number, counting by tens, just one ten over. The only thing that would change is a tens. The tens value would only change. And it would change to a nine, right? Because nine goes after eight. Everything else stays the same. And that's the importance about counting by increments of ten. You only change the tens value. So if I was like 35, give me two more numbers. That's a bad arrow, apologies. You would say the five stays the same 
and the only thing that changes is the tens. So if you don't even look at the ones value, it's just like counting by ones. So you can simplify this and instead of saying, oh, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, but using your fingers to count to 10, you could just say, hey, let's cross out all the place values that aren't tens and let's just count single digits. Correct? Because when we're working by counting by tens, we only look at the tens value. Now, this is actually pretty important. This is pretty important. Um, however, there are exceptions. This is a one exception. Actually, I'm going to do one more example. If we had like 540, and instead of going up, we wanted to go down 10, what would we have? Exactly. Zero and the five stay the same. And we're going down one. So when we go down, if we had one, two, three, four, five, where would we go? To the five or three when we go down? Exactly. We go to the three. So if you truly look at it, you can manipulate it and mitigate the difficulty of it and just simplify it to a simpler task. So whenever you're counting by a place value, tens, or ones, you only look at that place value. If I'm counting by ones, I only look at the one place value. If I'm counting by tens, I only look at the tens place value and everything else stays the same. The only thing that changes when we count by tens, it's the tens place value. This is why you need to watch the video about tens place value in order to understand what goes where, what's the one place value, what's the tens place value, what's the hundreds, and the thousands. Um, basically, that's it. So if we were manipulating by tens, we look at tens place value. Now I'm not gonna, just going to give you an exception. If we had, and we wanted to go, let's go higher. Let's go 10 up. Where would we go? Now remember, we said, that we only look at the tens value. So everything else is gonna stay the same. What goes after nine when you're counting? If we were just counting by ones, cause that's all we have to do. When we look at the tens and everything, hundreds, we actually only look at the ones. Cause like when we went from four to three, we only had to count by ones when we're doing that. In a sense, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight, nine. What number would go after that? Ten. That's a two-digit number. But we're only looking at one digit, one number, not two. We can't write ten here. Now, take a guess. Think for five seconds, pause the video, think about what we're going to do. All right, this was kind of tricky because none of you guys have encountered this. But let me try to explain it with the ones. So we have the nine and the 10 here, the transition. So if I said that this is how all these numbers look like, because they have a zero in front of them, right? And that zero counts as the tens value. So what changed? The nine changed to a zero. And then we put a one in the extra place. So we changed this zero up one. So then the nine here would change to zero and we would actually change our eight by one. And eight plus one is nine. Right? And that's how you would do it. Let's look at another example. If I had this number. Nope. Sorry. If I had this number. Nope. 
what number would that be? We said the 3 and the 4 stay constant because we're only looking at the tens place. And when it's a 9 and we want to go up, what does the 9 turn into? A 0. And we want to change the 9. We want to change the 3 plus 1. So that's a, like for example, if we were adding 10 plus, no, 17 plus 6, right? Se 17 plus 6. If we were doing simple addition, we would get 13, because that's what 7 plus 6 is, 13. We would write a 3 down here and we would carry the 1 and have 23. That's basically what we're doing here with the 3 and the 400 over here in the scenario up here in the top right. We went over 10 with the 9, we put the 0, and we had to carry the 1 to the 4. So that's basically what you do when you have a 9 in the tens place. When you have a 9 in the tens place, you basically just have to put a 0 in the tens and then increase the number to the left of it by 1. Now, another example, why don't we go 406, and we want to go 10 down. We're not going 10 up, we're going 10 down. Now, as I said before, they stay the same, but we're going down. So what goes before 0? What do you think? Think about what we did beforehand, where it goes 394 and we went to 404. Everything stayed the same, but since the 9 went to a 10, we made the we made the 9 turn into a 0 and we increased the number to the left of 9 by 1. What do you think we would do here? Okay, we would do this by 9, because remember it went 8, 9, 10. The 9 turned into the 0, and then the 0 in front of the 9 turned into a 1. But now we're going back. So this is going to turn into the 9, and the 1 is going to turn into the 0. So now the 4, we have to subtract by 1 or go down 1. And on our numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, if we went down 1, we would go to 3. So and that's what you would do going down, backwards. So basically, that's what we did. I'll, I think at the end of each video, I'm going to write a little summary. Pretty simple. So a summary of the video, or what we did, we counted by tens, skip by tens is what they call it. Skip by tens. Figure it out, leave everything else the same. Except the tens value. Right? Like when we were talking about going from 54 and we wanted to go up by 10 the 4 would stay the same because it's not a 10 and we would go up 1 because it goes 5 6 7 8 9 so the next number would be a 6 so we leave everything else the same except tens if there's a 9 we turn it to 10 so then 9 turns 9 goes to zero and then left number we plus one right but if we went from zero we would go to nine but we would actually be going from ten to nine if you think about it so then zero goes to nine and then the left number
it would be minus by 1 because we're going down. If you go up, you add. Okay. If you go up, you add. And everything, if we're going from 54 over here to 64, we added 1 from 5 to 6. Same thing over here, when we, if we go down from 46. 6 stays the same, but we would go down to 3. Because 4 minus 1 equals 3. So that's basically what we did. We understood how to skip by 10s up and down. And when we skip by tens, we leave everything else, all the place values the same, and we only have to change the tens value since we're skipping by tens. If we skip by ones, we change the ones values. And if and you'll learn in the next video that I'm gonna make when we skip by a hundreds, we change the hundreds value. And then I'm not gonna make a thousands video or anything above that because then you'll understand the trend after that. So we leave everything the same. And if we have approach a 9, we turn the 9 to a 0, and then we do the number to the left of 9, add 1. When we go from 0 to 9, when we have a 0 there in the tens value and we want to go down, if we wanted to go up from 0 value, we would just put a 1. But we would have to go down to a 9. So then the 0 would turn to a 9, minus one from the left number. So then that's a little wrap for our video, a nice little summary of what we did. So basically if you just want to simplify it, you only have to look at the value, place value you want to change. So if you want to change the tens value, which we wanted to do here, if we wanted to skip by tens, we had to look at the tens value. And that's what we manipulated. We left everything the same. And we just went to our basic one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We looked at that and we changed it. Easy basic manipulation. We made something very complex, very simple. So try the games, try the worksheets. And remember, one of the worksheets, it has count by fives, count by hundreds. If you're just watching this video, do the count by tens. In the next video, you'll do count by hundreds, but this time just do count by tens. So I'm gonna Bid you all farewell and uh, stay safe, be careful, I wish you guys the best of luck, bye bye.